Donnarua, India. Indian women have been attending schools and universities like never before, and female education levels in the country are a success story. Yet the percentage of women in the workforce has decreased over time. The question is, if you aren't getting returns in the labor market for women's education, why do people educate their daughters? Asked Sanalde Desai, a University of Maryland sociology professor who leads one of the most important household surveys in India. Researchers like Desai believe they now have an explanation. They have documented how rising education levels for women are largely driven by higher returns in the marriage market, not by improved job prospects. Families of sons are increasingly looking for educated daughters-in-law, not so that they can rake in salaries, but so they can produce highly educated children, new academic literature says. What I see is basically the creation of educated housewives, said Desai, whose research found that very few other countries saw this phenomenon. Sudha Kumari, who lives in one of India's poorest states, said she believes her three daughters need a bachelor's degree to find suitable husbands. In their dimly lit home on the outskirts of Patna, the capital of Bihar state, she watches as her eldest leans over her youngest, correcting her handwriting. Her mother-in-law, Usam Devi, explains why she and her husband financed Kumari's bachelor's program. We only wanted an educated daughter-in-law. Everyone does the same now. Devi, a 60-year-old who never attended school, beams with pride because both of her daughters-in-law's studies have led to educated grandchildren. Having an educated women at home is now a status symbol, said Nilanhan Sirkar, a political economist at Ashoka University. In a country where gender norms shift slowly, education has been an anomaly. Families may still prefer sons over daughters. Domestic violence continues to take a toll. But now, tertiary education sees more women than men, and female literacy rates have made notable strides. It's huge educational empowerment, said Amit Basol, a labor economist at Azim Premji University. But there is a disconnect between that and employment. Oxford researchers found that parents' investment in their daughter's education across the western state of Rajasthan is notably driven by perceived marriage market returns. Something that struck me in the focus groups, said Alison Andrews, one of the associate professors involved in the research paper, is the distinction of wanting a daughter-in-law who is educated but without work ambitions. These things are seen as qualitatively different. When Kumari wanted to apply for a job that would require out-of-state travel, she saw pushback from her in-laws and husband. She ultimately agreed. It would have been too difficult. I have to feed the family, oversee their education, Kumari said, with an easy smile. First, the kids should study.